will get to know the correlative conjunctions. As usual, before explaining what the correlative conjunctions for, I prefer to take a look at the following examples. Sentence number one is Airless chopped the trees. Sentence number two is Travis chopped the trees. So both words, airless and Travis, the two, these two words, they express the same idea or they have the same function in these two sentences. So how can we join or connect these two words into one sentence? We will use the conjunctions both and. The first conjunction both is going to be used before the first word and the second conjunction and it's going to be used before the second word so it's going to be both Ernest and Travis chop the trees the two of them chop their trees so what two words work together to join parts of the sentence the words both and and there are two conjunctions that work together to join the parts of that sentence so the these conjunctions are correlative conjunctions so what are the correlative conjunctions they are words that come together to join parts of that sentence they have to come together they always were together let me ask you one more question what kind of words the conjunctions both and join let's check the word earless earless chop the trees it is the subject of the sentence and of course it is a noun what about the word travis it is also the subject and it is a noun of course proper noun i know so the conjunctions both and they join the subjects or the two nouns of the two sentences wait let's take a look at the next example he is smart he is very funny what parts of the two sentences do you think need to be joined together? Smart and very funny. So how do you think these two parts are going to be joined? We can use the conjunctions not only but also. As I said before, the conjunction not only is going to be used before the first part, smart, and the conjunction but also is going to be used before the second part. So it's going to be he is not only smart, but also very funny. What two words work together to join parts of the sentence? The words not only, but also. So they are correlative conjunctions. Why? Because they work together, they come together to join parts of the sentence. My next question is, what kind of words the two conjunctions join? Let's get back to the example. He is smart. So smart, what kind of word it is? It is an adjective. Very funny, it is also an adjective. So the conjunctions join the adjectives of that sentence. The next example, I will go for a walk. I will stay at home and watch a movie. What parts of the sentence do you think need to be joined? A great, go for a walk or stay at home and watch a movie. We will use the conjunctions either or. It means one of the two. In other words, I will do one of the two things. The first thing is go for a walk. The second thing is stay at home and watch a movie. So I will do one of the two things. So how these two parts of the sentence are going to be joined together or are going to be connected? We will use the conjunction either before the first part go for a walk and the conjunction or before the second part stay at home and watch a movie the sentence is gonna be i will either go for a walk or stay at home and watch a movie what words or what two words work together to join parts of that sentence the words either or so the words either or are correlative conjunctions because they work together they come together to join the parts of the sentence. Great. What type of words do they join in this example? I will go for a walk. Go for a walk. It is the predicate. Excellent. What will I do? Go for a walk. Let me remind you. What is the predicate? 
It is the part of the sentence that tells what the subject did or does. The second uh, sentence, I will stay at home and watch a movie. So the second part is also the predicate. So in this example, what type of words do the conjunctions either or join? They join the predicates or the verbs of the sentence. Great. The next example, Jerry doesn't play the flute. Andy doesn't play the flute. What parts of the sentences need to be joined? Great, Jerry and Andy. In this case, we will use the conjunctions neither nor. When I use the conjunctions neither nor, I use them to show that two things or two options are not true or are not possible. Jerry doesn't play the flute. Andy doesn't play the flute. So here we have two ideas that are not possible. The conjunction neither will be used before the first part that needs to be joined before jury and the conjunction nor will be used before the second part that will be joined or connected. So the sentence is gonna be neither Jerry nor Andy plays the flute which means the two of them don't play the flute. Two areas that are not possible or are not true. I need you as well to take care of something. The conjunction neither it means not and the conjunction nor it means also not. So these conjunctions they are negative. They mean not. So you need to remove the negative verb or the negative part from the sentence because no double negatives can be used together. So the verb doesn't play it's gonna be changed to plays. Neither Jerry nor Andy plays. We cannot use doesn't play. Why? Because neither and nor they mean not. So double negatives cannot be used to express the same idea. Don't worry about that. I will explain this part in detail later. What two words work together to join parts of the sentence? The words neither and nor, so they are correlative conjunctions. What kind of words do these two conjunctions join? The word Jerry, it is a noun, and the word Andy, it is also a noun. So in this case, the conjunctions join the subjects or the nouns of the sentence. Great. So my question is, what are correlative conjunctions? Correlative conjunctions are joining words. They are conjunctions. And we had before the coordinating conjunctions and the subordinating conjunctions. So you already know that conjunctions joining words. They are words that join sentences or join parts of the sentence. Great. Correlative conjunctions are joining words that connect parts of the sentence. They are conjunctions that always come or work in pairs. They are two words that come together and work together to join parts of that sentence. They connect words that are parallel. What kind of words do they connect? They connect the parallel words, words that are the same or have the same function, words that have the same job in the sentence or show the same idea. So the correlative conjunction they connect two sets of words that are parallel or that show the same idea or words that have the, sh the same job in that sentence. For example, either Tim or Danny will shoot the ball. So maybe Tim will shoot the ball or Danny will shoot the ball. So the words Tim and Danny, both of them are parallel, they are equal, they have the same idea in the sentence, they have the same job in that sentence. That's why the two words, Tim and Danny, are joined by the correlative conjunctions either and or. And of course, Tim and Danny, both of them are parallel, both of them are nouns, so in this case, the conjunctions either and or, they join the nouns of that sentence. Another important note that I need you to take care of is the correlative conjunctions must be parallel. 
what does that mean? It means that you must use the same type of word after each conjunction. So after each conjunction of the two, you must use the same type of word. If you used a verb after a first conjunction, the second conjunction should be followed by a verb. If the first conjunction is followed by a noun, the second conjunction must be followed by a noun. If the first conjunction is followed by an adjective, the second conjunction should be followed by an adjective either. This works with mainly the conjunction both and, neither nor, either or, not only, but also. So this rule, it goes only on these four conjunctions. I will repeat them one more time for you. Both and, neither nor, either or, not only, but also. For example, Tim not only passed the test, but also got rewarded. What words are used together to join parts of this sentence? Great, not only, but also. Not only, but also are correlative conjunctions. Great. The first conjunction is followed by the verb passed. The second conjunction should be also followed by a verb which says got. So, the correlative conjunctions should always have a parallel structure, which means that you must use the same type of word after each conjunction. Great. In this case, what type of words do the conjunction connect? They connect the verbs or the predicates of the sentence. What do we call the words that join parallel parts of that sentence, we call them the correlative conjunctions. What are the correlative conjunctions? Or what are the most common correlative conjunctions, the most used ones? Both and, neither nor, either or, whether or, not only, but also. The first pair of conjunction, both and, it is used to show that two things are true. So this pair of conjunction, it is mainly used to connect positive things and to tell that two things are possible or two things are true. The second pair of conjunction, neither nor, it is used to show that two things are not true. It is the opposite of both and. It is used to tell that two things are not true or not possible. The third pair of conjunction, either or, it means or it is used to show that one of the two things is true or one of the two things could happen or one of the two options could be possible. The fourth pair of conjunction, whether or, it is used to show that there are two possible options. There are two options that could happen. The last pair of conjunction, not only but also, it is used when there are two things and we want to show the second thing more. He is not only smart, but also funny. We want to, to highlight the, the second part. He is not only smart, but also funny. I want to highlight that he is funny. So it is used when there are two things and we want to show the second thing more. Great. Important notes, subject verb agreement. You have always to take care of the subject verb agreement when using the conjunctions both and. For example, my brother looks after the cat. Mom looks after the cat. What parts of the two sentences need to be connected? Great, my brother and mom. Let's use that. Conjunctions both and the first conjunction both is gonna be used before the first part, and the second conjunction and will be used before the second part that needs to be connected. So it's gonna be both my mother and mom look after the cat. The conjunction both and it joins the subjects or the nouns of the two sentences. Let's check the verb. The two subjects, they are joined together. They are connected together. So, who looks after the cat? Both my brother and mom. So, so you will have to remove the S from the subject because now the subjects are connected. The subjects are plural. So, the verb, it has to be look 
to follow the subject verb agreement so that it will agree with the subject. Another example The teacher is not here today. Her assistant is not here today. Let's use the conjunctions both and. What parts of the sentence need to be connected? The teacher and her assistant. Both the teacher and her assistant are not here today. The subjects of the two sentences are joined together. So the verb is going to be are because the subject is more than one. So it has to follow the subject verb agreement. Another example. The football is a popular game in USA. The baseball is a popular game in USA. The two subjects of the sentences are going to be connected. So it's going to be both the football and the baseball are popular games in USA. The verb is going to be are. Why? Because the two subjects are connected. So you have to take care of the subject verb agreement. This is very important. Don't forget this part so when using the conjunctions both and you always have to take care of the subject verb agreement because you are joining the subjects of the sentences another important note no double negatives of course this works on the pair neither nor as i said before neither nor it means not jason doesn't like football jason doesn't like baseball what parts of the sentence need to be connected? Football and baseball. Excellent. We will use the first conjunction neither before the first part, football, and the second conjunction nor before the second part, baseball. So it's going to be Jason likes neither football nor baseball. The verb doesn't like. It's changed it from negative into positive. So it's going to be Jason likes. Why is it likes? Because the verb is in the present time. Doesn't like. So it's going to be likes. The two conjunctions, neither nor are correlative conjunctions. They join two nouns in the sentence. Excellent. As I said before, the conjunctions have to be parallel. They have to join the, the same type of words. If the first word is followed by a noun, which is football, then the second word has to be followed by also a noun. Never ever forget this part. The verb will be likes. Why? Because no double negatives shall be used together. Another example. Barry didn't answer the phone. Mandy didn't answer the phone. So, what words of the two sentences need to be connected? Barry and Mandy. Both of them didn't answer the phone. Great. We will use the conjunction neither nor. The first conjunction will be used before the first word Barry. And the second conjunction nor will be used before the second word Mandy. So, it's going to be neither Barry nor Mandy answered the phone. Great! The two nouns, Barry and Mandy, are joined together or the two subjects are joined together. What about the verb? It's gonna be answered. Why? Because the conjunctions neither nor they mean not. So you will have to turn the negative verb into a positive one because no double negatives shall be Used. So, didn't answer. It is a verb that is in the past time. So, it's going to be turned into a positive verb. So, it's going to be answered. A positive verb in the past time. Neither Barry nor Mandy answered the phone. None of them answered the phone. Excellent. Another example. He didn't want to participate in the show. He didn't come to see it. What two parts should be connected? Didn't want to participate in the show. Didn't come to see it. 
the first conjunction neither is gonna be used before the first part didn't want to participate in the show and the second conjunction nor will be used before the second part didn't come to see it my sentence will be he neither wanted to participate in the show nor came to see it the two predicates of that sentences are joined together let me remind you one more time what is the predicate it is all the words that tell me what the subject did or does so mainly it is the verb and the other words with the verb that tell me what the subject did or does so in this example the two predicates are joined together or the two verbs are joined together so what about the verbs the verbs will be wanted and came so didn't want it's gonna be changed into wanted didn't come it's gonna be changed into came because no double negatives shall be used this is because neither nor it is a negative pair of conjunctions